So one of the things I would like you to first of all know before you start your love journey is that Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Link Her With You with Judith YouTube channel and I'm still your host Judith O. Biafole and today's video is so interesting as you all can see I am rocking my locks and I feel so good and I actually need to tell you that this locks have been carrying it for the past two years I am going to be sharing with you some valuable information that you need to know before you start your own locks journey because I can actually tell you boldly that I do not have any single regret of starting my dreadlock journey because it has been a most relaxing and rewarding experience. And if it's your first time of stopping by, you are on the right channel. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button to join this healthy family. And if you're a returning subscriber, we love you so much and we cannot say that enough. Quickly, let's get into the video. So one of the things I would like you to first of all know before you start your love journey is that you do not have to have a natural hair before you embark on a dreadlock journey. No, you don't have to. But for adventure, you have a natural hair. Awesome. You can kickstart your journey. But if you don't have a natural hair, it doesn't actually stop you. You can start with whatever you have. But make sure you are going to the right dreadlock stylist to actually start the beginning process. And the second thing that you need to know before you embark on your dreadlock journey is that the starting process will actually determine the future look of your dreadlock. And you all know that you know when you see some kind of dreadlocks looking so thin and you see another person's lock looking so fat it all depends on how it was started so you need to understand that factor before you take your dreadlock journey on for me i would advise that you use the comb method of starting rather than the crochet especially when you have a natural hair because i didn't know this and then i actually had um, some little challenges but i was able to um treat or you know amend those challenge with my hair with natural products if you have a natural hair choose instead to begin your dreadlock with the comb method your dreadlock stylist will have more idea or information about this so number three thing you need to know before embarking on your journey is that you do not have to rock one hairstyle for the whole year no please delete that means that people say that when you lock your hair you're just gonna have just one style that's not true now apart from you being able to do box braid being able to do crochet being able to do other styles of braid you can still also style your dreadlock like i am styled here you can style your dreadlock in various styles even here on this youtube space we have several videos on different styles of dreadlock for you to explore so don't even buy the means that rocking your dreads or going on the dreadlock journey means that you're just going to stay in one style no way i i i want you to erase that that phrase or that um, means from your mind you know when you begin this journey you have ample of style but the only challenge that you will have is that when you are beginning your dreadlock with a short hair the styles are limited so that means that you can only have options of you know plating and box braids or all kinds of braids either twisting or whatever or you could practically just you know wear your wigs on your dreads but when your dreadlock becomes this long like my mine is over 12 inches then you have several styles you know to choose from so the number four thing you need to know before locking or before beginning that dreadlock journey is that you should not use processed hair product or inorganic product for your hair i have always been using my natural product and i have one of them here on this channel i would link it up here for you to go and watch that avocado hair treatment has done so many massive works for me but that doesn't mean that you cannot buy other organic you know dreadlock hair product to use on your hair but please note that when you begin your dreadlock journey and you want it to actually be a healthy lock it must be organic or homemade yes so the next point i want you to know is that going on a dreadlock journey saves you a lot of money in terms of how much you would have spent if you were not you know going on that lock journey meaning that if you were frequenting the salon like you know once in a week twice in a week when you start your love journey you can as well you know just choose when you want to visit the salon for me personally i have a long time that i just stay without visiting the salon 
because I do not have that luxury of time. So your dreadlock journey helps you, you know, to save money, but that doesn't mean that you are not going to take care of it. I hear people say it's always, you know, expensive to maintain locks and then it's cost, it's more cost intensive than effective. And I'm saying that's a big fat lie. Starting a dreadlock journey is going to save you a lot of cash. You can start that journey now and then see how it goes along. But you must also ensure that the maintenance of that hair is top notch. If not, it's going to be looking like a bag of so many bundle, you know, heap of hair tangled <laughs> rubbish on your head. But basically, starting your dreadlock journey helps you save costs because it's a low maintenance, you know, hair do. Yeah. So the next one I would like to say, which is the final one, is that your dreadlock grows faster than your natural hair. Yes, your dreadlock grows faster than your natural hair. So if you're looking for that long natural hair and you want to avoid hair breakage, you can make the decision to start your locks journey. It helps you lock it because when your hair is locked together, the growth, you know, becomes faster. So that way, in a short while or in less than three, six months, the growth of your hair has piped up. So you can see how amazing having or starting this dreadlock journey is. So I hope these few points of mine have been able to inform you on things you need to know before starting your dreadlock journey. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, join this healthy family. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up for this video to encourage what we do on this channel. And also do well to share this video with your friends and family. And lastly, please drop a beautiful comment about this video just below and we would love to read them. Thank you all so much for sticking with me till this time. Until I see you again in my next video, to stay healthy and stay blessed. Bye.